Good morning and welcome everybody to Artistic Designs by Chris. I've got to start resining some pieces. I have six laid out. I'll show you what. Here they are. And you probably remember I put these um, up as I was painting them and shared what I was doing at the time. But they've been some time ago, so just to refresh everybody's memories. These are the pieces that they've been uh, dried. This is a beautiful one right here. Just love it. Um, so they've been drying for a few weeks now. And they're ready to be resined. And the last piece is right here. And this is another beautiful I just love that one. It's going to turn out really nice with a high gloss resin on it. Okay. Okay. This is the resin that I use. It's called Glaze Coat and I pick it up from Menards. Okay. So I do, I just eyeball it. Parts. It comes in two parts. So I just fill this cup up. It's going to take a full two cups or full cup of each one. Um, and I just dump it in here. You get as much out as you can and kind of sticks to the sides. And that's the actual, um, that's part A. And then part B is the hardener. When I get it all out of the cup, then I'm going to set my timer and I'm going to mix it for six minutes. This okay, my resin is, it's been six minutes, my resin is ready. Um, I always add a little bit of what I call angel dust, but what this gives to my paintings is when the light shines on it, it gives a little glimmer to it. So that's what I like. So I've been doing this for quite a while, so I kind of know how much to put on there. I don't want to use any more than I really have to because this stuff is very expensive. I just take my fingers. This one is very messy. Plastic down. Um, and just don't be intimidated by using this stuff because it adds so much more value to my products. Okay, that one is done. Um, I will come back and um, torch it to get the bubbles out. So we'll do that after we're done with the rest of these. 